Enough jib jab, let's get going, okay? If you do not want to get on the floor though, wrist issues, like I said, you can, whatever, whenever we face the floor, just think about flipping around, laying on your back and doing the same thing with weights, okay? Your shoulders are still dropped, your elbows are still a little bit below your shoulders. Same thing in a push up, same thing in a press, okay? We don't want to be crunched. We don't want to cause any stress in our neck, in our shoulders. We're trying to take the pain out of it, the tension, and keep it where it needs to be, right in that chest, okay? Same thing with back things. If you're lying down, if you've got some airplane mode, some pull downs, you could do it standing, okay? Honestly, you hinge, you can just do a pulse squeeze, all right? That's an option as well. All right, thanks again for being here. Let's get going. Now that the uh, base is about to drop, one minute. So pop it till then. I thought a beat was gonna drop, but it's like a smooth transition. That's all right. Oh man, I'm gonna admire my tan. It's not gonna be here tomorrow. Look at this. Look at it. It's starting to peel. I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of see it. Hey, 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 hey. No, it really is. Look at that. Look at it. I did put a lot of lotion on, so hopefully, hopefully that's better. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna drink my electrolytes. My pre-workout. Put it all together. Feel good. All right, guys. Same warm-up as we normally do. Okay. Thanks again for being here. Just dance it out. We got 10 seconds. Oh, look at that. It didn't even fall. Oh, you could see it. You could see it. Ugh. Too close. <laughs> All right, knees up. Pull your abs in. Shoulders drop. Pull it back. Pull. Pull. From the side, looks like this. Make sure you whoo, exhale as that knee comes up. Shoulders stay dropped. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Keep it going. Oh, I think I heard an alert on my computer. We're going to see what happens. Thanks for being here. I don't know if it's a raid or a follow. We're gonna find out. It's about a six second delay. So let's wait for it. It's like longer than that. Where's it at? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Squeeze the shoulder blades. It's more like a 15 second delay today, guys. I don't know. Woo, hey, oh my gosh, what? Oh, it's a raid! Hey, Effie! Thanks for raiding, girl! So good to see you! Shout out to Effervescent Effie. Thank you, Eddie, for doing that. Check her out! All right, we're gonna go to a bo booty kicks while I read this. Flex your arms and squeeze back. Do it with me. All right, come join Effervescent Effie, the hotter Oprah of Pilates, for a wall workout revolution. From pain-free back routines to butt sculpting, Drills. They've got your fitness covered with a side of positive vibes. That's right. This is why we friends. <laughs> all right. Celebrating Black History Month with every stretch. They're all about love and inclusivity. Co-work with them for a study sesh or sweat it out with beginner-friendly sessions. Just don't forget those follow and sub challenges. That's right. Everybody, click her a follow. You can like hover over her name, I think, and then you can follow her. You can subscribe even better. Honestly, it's all about supporting people here. So welcome to my stream raiders. Thanks again. My name is Sarah Placentia, AKA your sweaty bestie. We're all sweaty besties here. We're gonna have shirts made eventually. Feet underneath your hips. We're just getting warmed up, okay? Squat with a reach, pull. Booty goes out from the side. You can see, pull your abs in. Squeeze the shoulder blades, stand up. Keep your knees soft at the top, squat. Pushing through those heels. Open the chest at the top, squat, pull, reach, stand. Nice job, you guys. All right, give me one more. And then we're gonna take our feet wider, toes pointed out, squat, tuck your tailbone under, reach, pull, lat pull down. So it's six moves for our warm up. And then we've got three circuits of six minutes sessions. Circuits, two sets each for those three circuits okay and in each of those circuits there's three moves usually unless I decided to do a repeat session we'll see what happens okay squeeze the back Whew, nice job chest days lifted I don't know about you but my legs are feeling so much better than yesterday feet come together I traveled all day two days ago all right we're gonna do a chopped lunge so let me just show you drop that knee tuck your tailbone under slightly 
stack your shoulders over your hips and try to really bend that knee. This is not about straightening your leg. This is about really just stacking. So it's a 90 degree, 90 degree, chop to the side, come back up. I'm gonna try and follow your workout. Good to see you back. Hope you had an amazing trip. Thanks so much. Yes, it was beautiful. So much sun, so much beach. I cannot complain. <laughs> it was exactly what I needed. One of my girlfriends, we work together and it's just so cool because we do. We're we're like affiliates together. So we, we, we actually are gonna go to Hawaii and Mexico later this year on our affiliate business. And we were just talking about how it's like, what do we want to do? And so we would like sleep in, go get a workout, go eat pizza, go to the beach, and then go out to a fancy dinner. We did that. Those five things every single day. <laughs> so I was like, this is how I fill my cup. I know some people go on vacation and then after they get back, they're like, I need a vacation for my vacation. No, we did it right. And actually I worked it probably a little too hard in the leg day workout. I spy with my little eye, time zone change. Unless you're early. Oh, there must have, oh yes. Jared from Australia, yes. There was a time zone change in the US. Oh yeah, that's probably good for you, right? Cause you get a little bit of, you're not staying up too late, right? I mean, it's still late. Americans changed their time three weeks before the rest of the world in March and three weeks after the rest of the world in October. <gasps> Girl, like I did not know that. I knew there was a difference. I didn't realize it was three weeks. And also, really, the rest of the world, why are we doing that? I feel like America is like the mean girl of the world. <laughs> Seriously, like sometimes. Let's be real. You know what I mean? Like, it is kind of like this, like, um, we're going to do it our way. <laughs> and, all right, walk it out. And I get that. Like, it's kind of like, it's kind of annoying. I'll, I'll admit this. I will, I will. I do love, I'm so, no, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm grateful I live in America. I will not take it for granted. There's just certain things that, yeah, it, it would make more sense if we were all in the same, like, time zone change together. Because if the whole world is doing something, not that we have to follow suit, but if it makes sense for everybody, why not, right? Let's all, let's all treat each other with kindness and love. Um, after Sunday, we'll be back to normal. Oh, wait, our last champ change. Huh. Oh, no, the rest of the world changes on the 31st of this year. Oh, really? All right, this is my last one. Stretch it back. All right. Good job, you guys. All right, walk it back. That last one was kind of, like, sporadic. I usually explain it a little bit better than that. Sorry, guys. All right, what are we doing? I am going, well, 22%. That's good enough. I'm going to film this little workout. And... I'm actually gonna do it in a time lapse, hyperlapse, because I don't think I have a lot of space on my phone. Oops. So we're gonna we're gonna do that instead, because that just makes it easier. All right. So if you are ready, let me get this set up for you guys or for myself. Prove you know I did I did the work. Also, I need to get better. Effie does such a good job at this. She's like advertising on her Instagram, and I'm like crap. I forgot to advertise again. <laughs> so this will be my advertisement for after the fact. But I'll have a list. You guys, I'm going to be here actually like almost two months in a row. So my next trip is not till my affiliate convention in May. Salt Lake City. I'm going to make a girl's trip out of it. We're going to go a couple days early. It's going to be super fun. All right. Already starting. Here we go. What I want you to do. We're still warming up the chest. Correct? I mean, I am. So what I want you to do. You're going to come all the way down. Pull your abs in, tuck your tailbone under. Stay on your knees for this, okay? You're still warming up, but I want you to hurt yourself. Shoulders are dropped, hands in line with your rib right below your chest, okay? Pull your fingers now out. Thumbs face forward, pink, pinkies face out to the side, shoulders stay dropped, core is tight. That's your push-up position, okay? We're not necessarily doing triceps. Triceps would look like that, okay? I want it wider, fingers pointed out, Shoulders stay dropped, head and spine neutral. Coming up and down, just straight push-ups. We're only gonna do a couple of these, okay? Wait, wait, let's do like three more. Three, two, last one. Pull your abs in, come all the way down now. Okay, we're still warming up that body. So we're gonna stick with this. I'm gonna turn to the side so I can actually do it. Make sure your head tilts down. Lift your right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. 
Pull your abs in. This is not about hyperextension. This would be hyperextension. I don't want you to do that. Think about elongating your body. You're still getting a little glute squeeze in there, yes. Okay? If you want to get more extension out of it, you can always lift your arm higher. I just don't want, li want you lifting your, your back out of this, okay? So keep your foot low. Try to get your bicep up to your ear. Nice job. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Now I want you to think about something here. The hand on the floor, I want you to push away from the floor. Squeeze. Keep it in the core tight. Squeeze. Nice job, you guys. All right, pull your abs in. We're gonna come into a little bit of a down dog stretch. So you're here. Down dog looks like this. Bend your knees, drive your heels down. You're gonna reach your toe, come back to up, pull your abs in. Do it again, switch. Lead with your other hand. Core is nice and tight. Squeeze. Come back to center. Oh man, I still have my bracelets on from the trip. And they have like all of these things I need to cut off. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. There we go, okay. Abs are pulled in. Knees are soft, so you really should feel that stretch at the top, reach, down dog, and then go. I was kind of going into it fast. So get the down dog position first, then reach, back to your down dog, back to your plank. Down dog, reach, down dog, plank. Let's do one more, finish up on the other side. Reach, down dog, back to center. Drop to your knees, pull your abs in. Remember, your hands wider, thumbs point up, pinkies point out, okay? I hope that makes sense, because we're gonna rock it out. Here we go, shoulders are dropped, elbows stay soft at the top. They're not like this. Yeah, I can hyperextend, so I need to remind myself not to hyperextend. Pull your abs in. If you can, stay on your knees, okay? Again, we're still warming up, so I don't want you to hurt your shoulders here. Make sure you're in line. I'm gonna fix my top. There we go. Core tight. Thank you, Harvey. He's like, I'll guard you while you fix your top, Mom. <laughs> you're not smelling my butt, are you? Smelling the bottom of my shoes? Does it smell like airport? <laughs> Probably. Oh, does it smell like Punta Cana? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Next move. Next move, Harvey. We're doing our single arm. Leg extension, pull your abs in, shoulders are dropped, core is tight, tuck your tailbone under, okay? Lift up and down. This is such a great one for your back. We'll get into harder back exercises, but for now, I would much rather you hold it with this exercise, because it's a good one. Plus it's gonna prep us for the next move we do, which is great back strength and mobility work. It's a good one, it's a good one. Nice job, you guys, keep it going. Squeeze, squeeze. Remember, straightening those arms is okay here because we we don't have weights behind them. Nice job, keep your core tight, tuck your tailbone under, push away from the floor. Child's pose, just to stretch it out. We're on to our third move and then we get a one minute break. All right, here we go. Pull your abs in, high plank first. Feet hip width apart, hands hip width apart. Ready, reach, pull your abs in. Go back into that hovering, ah, my necklace. <laughs> hovering plank. Your hands are not here. If they're up here, you're most likely doing this. I want your hands back in line with the outside of your shoulders, maybe below them. Down dog, reach, pull your abs in, plank. Down dog, reach, down dog, plank. This is such a good stretch for what we need to do. So yeah, it's like an active recovery move because you're getting that down dog stretch. Core is still engaged. Arms are still working. Reach, back to the down dog, back to the plank, and take a breather. Nice job. All right, one circuit done, two to go. And go ahead and grab something to drink. Find your life. Good job. All right. 
Woo! Next, we're gonna focus on, I think I'm just gonna focus on chest and then like two back exercises because that's a lot of push-ups in one, one series of working out, right? So, push-ups again, but this time we're gonna be traveling with it. Obviously, if you wanna make it harder, stay on your, stay on your toes. A little bit easier, you're staying on your knees, okay? Now, second move. Actually, I'm just gonna explain that. Second move. I'll show it to you. Maybe we'll start with the second move. It'll be the first move now. Okay, put your abs in. I'll mirror you. So this is your right arm, or if we're facing the same way. Right arm goes up, the left leg goes out. I want you to come out to the side, back to center, hold it, and then re keep repeating it. It's a lot on your back, I know. So keep your core tight, shoulders stay dropped. Ready? This is your starting position. It's not here. It's here, okay? Pull your abs in. Straighten it out to the side. Abs in tight. Come back to center. Again, if it's too much on your wrist, you can always make a fist. Or you can always do this whew, from a standing position. It would just look like this. And back to center, okay? That's your option if you don't want to be on the ground. Pull your abs in. Really keep that core tight. Yeah, we're gonna be working those obliques. Also your back is really working the entire time because we're keeping those arms, those limbs, arms and legs elevated. I'm gonna do one more. Shoulder stays dropped. Reach and down. Little bit of a stretch in the back. Release, let it go. Pull your abs in, come to neutral again. Ready? Other, opposite arm, opposite leg. Stay here. Remember, you're not tucking, or, sorry, you're not hyperextended. You're tucking your tailbone under, keeping your core tight, and just going out to the side, and then back to the center. Shoulder stays dropped. Elbow stays soft, the one that you're standing on. You know what I mean. Head and spine is neutral. I'm not looking up. I'm looking down like eight inches in front of my fingernails. If you're like, this is not hard, Sarah. You could always put on ankle weights. You could always hold a weight in your hand. But you know what? This is a challenge for me because I'm really trying to keep my leg elevated. Okay, that's good. All right, remember the next move. Pull your abs in. Alternating to the side, center, side, center. Again, you can stay on your toes. Pull your abs in together. Make sure your, your thumbs point forward and your pinkies point out to the side. Abs are pulled in. Core stays engaged. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Look forward slightly. Common mistake. Starts to look like this. I want your head up. And remember, you're only bending your elbows. A push-up is a glorified plank. That's the only difference here, okay? The only difference between a plank and a push-up. You're only doing one thing. It's called bending your elbows. That's it, keeping your head up. Yeah, I went to the, my knees. So what? <laughs> I'm checking my ego at the door. If I feel like I'm gonna lose form, I always go to a different variation, okay? You ready? Repeating that whole sequence. Pull your abs in, right arm up, left leg up. Here we go. Extension out to the side. Bring it back to center. Abs are pulled in. Try to keep that leg lifted, but not so much that you're hyperextending it. So remember, tuck your tailbone. Bring that hand out so the bicep is close to the ear. Ugh. Nice job, you guys. You can do this. You shut up for a reason today. Whew. Don't forget why you're here. Okay, you wanna manifest the type of life you want? You gotta get uncomfortable. Physically, emotionally, mentally, sometimes financially, right? You gotta invest in your future. You gotta invest in the type of life you wanna live. And right after that investment, guess what? You get to work. You get to work, you don't have to work, you get to. So many people aren't capable of what you are capable of. Don't waste it, okay? This gift of life, it's 
those that are truly grateful for it, that take action on what they can do, that really live a life of true happiness. I'm not talking about like financial gains. I'm talking about just being happy. Being happy with who you are. Being happy that you tried. Happy that you showed up, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm just trying to say you should be happy that you are here breathing that hopefully you don't have a chronic illness. And if you do, I want to send you so much love today that you are here right now. Listen to me jib jab, but I want you to do what you can do in this moment. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. All right. You are here for a reason. All right. Thumbs point up. Pinkies point out. Side to side push-ups. Keep that core tight. I'm going to shut up and try because I need to, I need to think about what I'm doing. <laughs> and I already told you all the cues, right? So just do it. Keeping that core tight. Elbows soft at the top. We never lock joints, especially if there's weights behind it. Hear me breathing. Whew. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. I gotta go to my knees. I'm gonna finish it. One last one. Make it even. All right, one minute. One minute. And I'm gonna move all of my bracelets. So all these things are on top. There we go. Woo! So Lux, you're back. I was going to start doing these workouts with you. But right now I have a stuck with bug. No! I'm so sorry, Soul. Yeah, listen to your body. Your body probably needs rest for sure. Self-care. Naps. Getting definitely enough rest. That's naps. <laughs> going to bed at a decent hour though tonight, okay? I mean, I'm going to boss you around. Plenty of liquids. Electrolytes so it really absorbs into your cells. Um, limiting sugar. Sugar makes everything worsen. Inflammation. I mean, your gut health is like affected by that. So, you do you, boo. Thanks for saying hi. I so appreciate it. All right, we're on to our third circuit. I know we just ended with push ups, but we're going to start with push ups. Are you ready for it? No? Well, who cares? This is going to be push ups. Push ups. I just call it plank to Superman. I'm gonna take out the word push up. You're in a plank, you bend at your elbows, you do a Superman, you come back. Shoulders stay drop, core stays tri tight. Try to keep your toes on the floor, okay? You got this. I have to remember, it's not a tricep push up. Our thumbs are pointed up, our fingers, our pinkies are pointed out. Shoulders stay drop, core stays tight. All right, I totally cheated on that. So I'm gonna stay on my knees for the next few. Still healing that shoulder. I know it's been eight months, but as soon as I feel like, ooh, I feel it, then I, I do. I back off right away because I'm here for longevity. And I wanna make sure that I'm doing the best that I can with what I have. All right, two more back exercises. Cool, lay it down. We're gonna tuck our tailbone under. You're gonna reach up and just do a lat pull down. Okay, squeeze in the back, flexing your arms. Give me a W at the bottom. Your head and spine neutral. You're looking down. You're keeping your neck long. Okay, reaching up, squeeze. Reaching up, squeeze. You got this, come on guys, squeeze. Almost there. Keep on breathing, tuck your tailbone under, keep your toes on the floor. Pinch those shoulder blades at the very top, squeeze. You got this, squeeze. Woo! Almost there. Keep those arms elevated. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's a lot, you guys. Nice job. All right, now this is gonna be a challenge, okay? I'm gonna show you this. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and we just switch. That might not be too hard. Here's where the challenge comes in. Dig your toes in, keep your core tight. Start from this position. 
Arm, opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, you can always come back, both knees stay on the floor. Otherwise, knees stay off <laughs> the floor. You gotta really find your balance. Hold it, come back in. Abs are pulled in. Wow, you guys feel that? I know I do. A lot of core, but we're also working that back because we're lifting up arm and leg. Whew. I'm gonna go back into this one, shooting the arm out, pulling your abs in still. Don't forget about the core, even if your knee stays down. Good job. All right, little stretch in those wrists if you need it because we're gonna repeat that plank to Superman. All right, that was difficult. Ready? Thumbs point up, pinkies point out, shoulders stay dropped, elbows stay soft. Ready, plank, bending only your elbows, reaching up, reaching back, tuck your tailbone under, keep your core tight. I'd rather you slow down your reps, focus on your form, squeeze in the core, as you come up and as you go down. Ooh. Nice job, you guys. I think I sacrificed my form a little bit. So I'm gonna do this from my knees so I can really maintain a flat back. Remember, we don't count reps here. This is all about just doing the best you can with what you have. Maybe it's one rep. Maybe it's 10 reps. I don't care as long as your reps look good. That's all that matters, right? And they look good as in you're doing it right. You're not hurting yourself. All right, I'm gonna do four with my knees on the floor, single arm. Oh, you know what? I missed the second move, didn't I? That's okay, we'll, do, we'll end with the, the lat pull downs. I think that's four. I'm gonna try the next few on my, on my toes. Keep that core engaged. Yeah, you're gonna shake. Yeah, you're gonna feel it. Try to find that balance for at least a second. I'm gonna do two seconds, cause why not? One, two, whoo! One, two. Keep breathing here, guys. One, two. <laughs> Almost falling over. I'm gonna go back to those knees. Last one. Nice job. Go ahead and lay it all the way down. When the downtown you know this one. We already did it. Shoulders are dropped. Reach those arms up. Remember your head is down. Nose and chin point down. Squeeze, flex those arms. So you're reaching up and then you're flexing as you pull back. Okay? Try to keep your chest in the same spot. You're lifted. You're working your back. Try not to use your glutes. We're trying to really focus from the back here. Like I can almost, there it is. I can loosen my legs so much that my glutes are not working right now. It's all coming from my back. If you were to touch my butt, it would not be tight. I do not want it to be tight. I want to let go of my feet so that I really focus on just my back and doing the extension. And I'm not hyperextended that way. Hyperextended would be my legs go up. I didn't want to show you that because I don't want to hyperextend. Last one, squeeze, flex, 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 and release. Whew. Pull your abs in, core tight, shoulders dropped, elbows in, push away from the floor, stretch back into child's pose. Take a breather, guys. You did so good today. You got about a minute. Good job, you guys. One minute break, and then we're going to stretch it really well. So be ready for that. We're going to stay on the floor. We're going to get a nice back stretch in okay oh so we're gonna shake out those arms go ahead good work today thanks again for joining me body weight body weight week is no joke just because we aren't lifting weights does not mean you're not gonna get a good workout let too many negatives you know what i mean you know what i mean all right let's lay it down on the ground get ready Whew. now what i want you to do is feet knees are underneath your hips you're just gonna go into a child's pose, but here's the challenge. Bring your hands up a little further. Drop your head. So you're gonna feel that in your arms, in your upper back. 
Another challenge is you bend both elbows, bring your palms together, and pull back. Woo! You can always take your knees wide, whatever works for you, okay? I just feel like if my knees are closer, my hips are higher up. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, especially if I reach a little further forward. Oh, there it is. I'm feeling it in my lats. Just rest into it. I can feel it if I move my head out of the way. Almost there. Nice job, you guys. Oh! All right. We're gonna lay it down. We've done this chest exercise before. It's a stretch. Don't run away. Go ahead and face me. Put your right hand here. Left arm down, a little further down, not here. More like here and down. Pull your abs in. Right leg, right hand is gonna do the work. Drop your left cheek on the floor. Pull your abs in, push away from the floor and open. Okay, if this is too much, you can drop down and stay here, okay? Or use a wall. You can do it from a wall. Otherwise, your hand reaches back. You can interlace your fingers. I'm gonna bring my hand down a little further. Oops! Uh-oh, I don't know what just happened. Can you hear me okay? All right, I turned it off by accident. Ah. All right, I'm not gonna interlace my fingers because I'm not there yet. I just know some people are, so I always like to give the option. Nice job. One more deep breath. <sighs> Let's go ahead. Go to the other side. Pull your abs in. So you can just listen to my cue. This time your right arm is out. Your right cheek is on the floor. Your left arm pushes. Your left leg reaches up. Pull those abs in as you twist. And open to the side. That hand can go behind the back. Woo! Listen to the body. Eventually you'll notice an increase in your flexibility. Especially if you commit to these workouts with me. Again, Wednesday, core and mobility. We get a lot of, lot of flexibility on Wednesday. But you know me. I like a good six-minute warm-up and then a good six to seven-minute stretch at the very end. So we really focus on the mobility and flexibility at the end of every workout. So you're going to notice you're going to become more flexible. You're going to notice you become stronger. Woo! You're going to notice some physical changes, maybe even some emotional changes. All right, bring it back up. Which, honestly, that's what I want. Pull your abs in, push away from the floor. You know, physical changes, it's a byproduct of the emotional changes that you're going to go through, okay? You're going to start to realize you need to take better care of yourself, and you want to. It's not out of guilt or shame. Shoulders are dropped. Just look up. Let's breathe with it. So take an inhale. On your exhale, pull your abs in. Round your shoulders. Slow down your breath. Maybe if you want to take two breaths, that's fine. We're just trying to open up the chest as you round. Think about your shoulder blades going out, down to the sides, out. So you're really creating space in the upper back. And then you drop your chest, lift that chin. I'm gonna take like two breaths, keep going. Go at your own pace. Again, we don't count reps. That doesn't matter here. Release again. Nice job. Come back to a neutral spine. All right. Oh, we're going to go ahead, take a seat. We might as well work booty while we do this. So I'm going to mirror you guys. So go ahead and take your right leg on top of your left. You can either crisscross or stack it. Okay, setting up tall. Take your right hand now over to the side. Sit up tall. Drop your head to the left. Okay, wherever that chicken wing is, that arm that's just kind of here, we're gonna pull it over. So you're gonna wanna feel this throughout your right side, so that shoulder, and tilt your chin slightly up. Woo, you're gonna feel that throughout. Should feel good. Sometimes I even like to give a little massage here. Just don't pull it. I don't necessarily even want you to pull here. Just let the weight of the head carry it over. Woo, sit up tall, kind of lean forward, but keep your back flat. That'll get a little bit more glute stretch in case you need it, in case you joined me for bar yesterday. Holy booty. All right, let's go ahead and switch. It's your left leg on top of your right. You can either, again, crisscross it or stack heel to knee, knee to heel. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are dropped. Take your left arm now. Pull it to the side. Sit up tall still. Flex both feet. 
and just move to the side. Ah. Thank you again for being here, you guys. Oh, I love it, Jared. Hug to soul. Yep, and Jared, soul said, thank you. I love the community, love the love. Seriously, you know how long I've, I've streamed like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube? And I came, I mean, you know, I get, I get bots and people in here at my streams on social media. But guess what? I come to Twitch, I literally have, have like maybe blocked one person in a year. I'll be streaming one year. I'll be streaming one year in April, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, but seriously, like, I was so surprised. I was like, I don't know about the Twitch community. <laughs> so I take it back. I'm so sorry. I even thought that because the Twitch community has been by far the best community, like thoughtful, nice, sweet people. And the people that, I mean, that I am friends with on Facebook and Instagram, like I, I see them on Twitch and I'm like, oh good. It's not the creepers that followed me over here. It's the nice people. <laughs> so shout out to the Twitch community. Shout out to everybody here. Shout out to Effie. Thank you again for your raid. That was so sweet, girl. I gotta talk. We gotta talk together. Ha Harvey says hi. Harvey says hi. Oh. Batman says hi. Hi, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. 